so there's nothing in you that makes you want to watch all of your peers on YouTube and stuff to like know what's out there? I don't do I If something lands in front of my face, I watch it. Right, because I heard you saying that you're an Andrew Tate fan. Yeah, they land in front of my face, and I'm like, oh, that's right. dope. It's hard to avoid. Yeah, it, yeah. So, yeah. If something lands on me, I'm like, oh, that was meant to be. It was dope. I love that. Mm. But I, I don't really have time to even tie my fucking shoes. I can't really like go seeking videos, you know? Right. And I don't want to be like, like I wouldn't want to watch something you, like you're putting out because then I, I like, I develop that. Like then my content that I'm doing that day will be like part of what you and that guy were talking about. And then it feels like unauthentic to me. Right. Like I don't like to have any stuff like put in my brain, you know, I like to like come up with my own shit. So it feels authentic and I'm not feeling like a fucking, you know, that fucking imposter syndrome shit people say is real. I don't know about that. But shit. What are your thoughts on like the YouTuber prison ex prison ecosystem out there though? Because it's I never kinda, really saw it. I don't you, know. you just don't really tap in and pay attention. No, at, at first some of them were saying like Wes wasn't a shot caller. I saw but, that. Yeah. yeah. But now look how much money I make and they're at their grandma's house. Still. <laughs> Yeah, but I, so I, 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 I saw a video where a guy was like, there is no shot caller. Like, this is bullshit. Like, that's not how it works. I never heard yeah, somebody say there were a shot caller. 100% call. someone has every block and then someone has every yard. Right. 100%. And then, it, then someone on the streets has the fucking county, you know? So there's 100% there is rules like that. Right. Definitely. But, uh, okay, where was it? West Watson. Okay. Because the guy was like, he had a lot of fucking like complaints in one of these videos I wanted. So I was just trying to see what else you thought about this. There was a guy saying that, oh, he didn't believe that you hooped your paperwork. A lot of people have kind of made a meme out oh, of that. Oh, dude, the, you, you wrap it up this big. Like mm -hmm. you get like a 128G and you get copies of your 128G, which is your paperwork. You fold it over so many times. It's this big. Look at it. It's this big. You put you put a glove around it three or four times. You twist it up and you shove it up your ass. And do you just stop thinking about it after a while? Yeah. Then you go to the next place. You shit out. You got your paperwork, and now you don't have to wait for it. And it's this big. Right. This one guy was like rolling up a paper like this. How's he gonna put this up his ass? I'm like, dude, are you from Tennessee or what, dog? Like, dude, fold a fucking piece of paper into a square. It'll be that big and tight. You'll get a glove, like from work, and you'll use the fingers of a glove, like five fingers tied up. You'll stick it in so many gloves. And, and then so this is just so you can immediately prove that you're not. I mean, like you prove a, I'm with the business. That's how you roll up and you say, like, I ain't one of these fools who waits for my paperwork. I'm with it. You know, what's up? Uh -huh. That's how you prove you're with it. And that's that big of a deal in that moment. That not just, it. It just It's like the hierarchy. You don't have to do that. Right. But it's like, what's up? I roll my paperwork. Like, that's a thing in prison, that if you roll with your paperwork, you're different. Right. And you want to. You want to send copies of your paperwork in your property, and you want to roll with one just in case it gets lost. You know how many times people's property has gotten lost, they never get it? But they won't let you just bring a piece of paper with you when you're getting Fuck, no. They know no. what the paperwork is. They know the paperwork is gang-related. You know? Oh, okay. Like the Because the, a bad paperwork will get you stabbed. So they're not going to let you roll with your paperwork. Then everyone would have to roll with theirs. Mm. Then fucking Joe Chomo has to roll with his, and he gets stabbed. <laughs> right. Holy shit. No, I, okay. I saw a guy complaining saying that you had a story about how you, you had to shower with your clothes on. So you had to like shampoo your clothes. That's and, how, no, in Cali prison, that's how we wash our clothes. Really? We don't send our clothes to the laundry. Every race is Fifi's going there. Every race is jacking off in their clothes. Your clothes are going, your good clothes are going into the community laundry. Uh -huh. Your shit's coming back just soaked in everyone's fucking bullshit. So you won't use the laundry system no, at no, all. No, no, no. So, so you go in, you get wet, and then you soap your clothes up on you. You take your socks off. You put them on your hands. You soap your socks up. Take your shirt off, hang it on a clothing line. Take your socks off, hang it on a clothing line. Now you soap down your boxers from the outside. Take them off. Now you're finally naked for like the three minutes you need to be naked in the shower. You soap your boxers off. You hang them. Now you dry off. You go. Do you want to just be... Nobody goes in prison and walks up to the outside of the shower, fully strips out their clothes, drops them on the ground like they're at their house and bathroom. Nobody does that. Everything has to be folded in, in orderly. Mm -hmm. So like your clothes have to go on this line right next to this shower head. You have to wash them. You have to put them on this line. Then you have to take them with you. You brought in your, your clothes you're changing in. They're over here. The clothes you washed are over here. You're toweling your shits right here. So it's so orderly. You're militant as fuck. Everything is strategy. It, or else people would be walking up to the fucking shower and they would just like be if a new ass motherfucker rolls up he's about to take a shower he's in his shower shoes and boxers he takes his boxers off like puts them by his fucking shower shoes you're like oh my god this fucking guy really now he's got shit boxers in the fucking air of the set of the 
building that we're all inhabiting that has no fucking windows. Like, there's none of that. Wow. Fucking crazy. Everything is done, like, orderly to be as clean as possible, as as good of a fucking a day we could have to not have smelling someone's fucking asshole, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. But so, uh, I mean, it, it, you speak about it in such a way that it, it does feel like you kind of miss it or like you were, like, comfortable miss, in that I miss, environment. I miss everything that made me who I am. Like, but I, I never miss it, but I... If anyone knew what that would do to them, they'd be the most powerful person alive. They'd be as rich as me, as successful as me. We just hit 600,000 subscribers on the Clips channel right here. We're trying to get to 700, so you know what to do. Smack that red button and subscribe. Appreciate you.